Hey guys, Orvis25 here and welcome to another episode of Does It Work? Where today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. Whoops, holding it upside down, my mistake. So this, my friends, is a stainless steel military folding shovel, or an emergency shovel, which is what I'm going to be using it for. So at the time of this purchase, or at the time of this video I should say, which is pretty much around when I purchased it, um, the unit costs $5.69 a piece, shipped to your house for free. Um, I really can't show you anything from the description other than this picture because there's really nothing else to say about it. They don't have anything else. Um, it's stainless steel, and that's pretty much all I know about it. It just says there's a compass on it and everything else. And it shows you all the different configurations it has down here. But why would I show you that on a piece of paper when I could just show it to you in real life? So you get this kind of nice little camouflage bag here. Um, there's a belt loop on the back so that you can uh, put it on your belt, I guess, if you want to carry it around. But uh, the reason I purchased this out of my own money is because I'm going to be keeping this in my car because the winters in Illinois aren't necessarily really bad, but uh, plow trucks like to just kind of go by and leave a giant pile of snow alongside your car, so sometimes you can't get out. And uh, this would be a really good shovel just to, like, leave in your trunk so if you get uh, snowed in or something, you can go ahead and go out. Plus, it's got a pick on it, so if uh, you're inside for a really long time and it's really cold out, uh, some of the snow might freeze up on you um, on the, you know, side of your car, which would cause uh, some problems. So you can go ahead and use the pick component of this to break it up a lot easier. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here we go. You have two basic components. You have the handle here which has a little compass in the bottom which seems to work so that's a cool little thing I guess so there's the handle and then you basically have the actual shovel component of it uh, now there are three different configurations for this pretty much so you have collapsed shovel and uh, well if I tighten this down uh, you have the pickaxe component, so you can go ahead and use this and, you know, just like a pickaxe, and you could loosen up dirt. You can also put it, uh, whoops, you can also put it this way, but I don't really know what the purpose of uh, having it this way is. Um, couldn't really think of any use for having the, sh the shovel in this configuration, but uh, maybe someone can. I can't. But anyway, so that's it. And then this right here is your tightening screw so you can go ahead and you would tighten this down like so make it nice and taut and then that's it this isn't going to move you can go ahead and use it as a pick if you want and loosen this and put it in this configuration and then tighten it down like so you can go ahead and use it like a shovel just like that so instead of going ahead and just keeping and showing you all the different configurations of it, I'm going to go outside and test it. So what I'm going to test is I'm going to test the shovel component of it, the saw component of it. I'm not 100% sure on what this is. I think it's a bottle cap opener or a can opener. Either way, I'm not going to really test that because that's not a function that I really care about. The pickaxe component of it, and uh, well, the compass works, so I'm not really going to test that. I'm just going to tell you it works. So anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and teleport outside okay so now we're outside and here we have it right here now I want to say real quick that uh, some of you might notice that it's already dirty this is going to be the second time I'm recording it outside because uh, my battery died and when I went upstairs to plug in and retrieve the video file the video file got corrupt because the camera died while recording so that's unfortunate so I'm re-recording this because you guys need to see what's going on with this shovel um, I could give you <laughs> the rundown on what I think of it right now since I already did it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to show it to you as I go through it again. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and take our handle and screw it into here like so. Go ahead and tighten it down and there we go. Now first off we're going to go ahead and test out the shovel component of this. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this down. the best that we can 
there we go so that's as tight as you can get it now as you can see there's really no wobble going on there's a little bit of wobble but if I can hold this you can see there's a little bit of wobble in it but I can't really physically tighten it down any better than that so we're gonna go ahead and see if this actually can dig a hole There you go. So it's digging a hole. But if you'll notice, it's getting bent. If you notice, this side looks different than this side. That's because the entire shovel is bending. If you'll also notice, this is incredibly loose now. If I put this on the ground here and try and hold it still, look how loose that is now. And I can still tighten it up a little bit, like so. But watch what happens as soon as I put some pressure on it, like I was digging down like this. Watch what happens as soon as I put some pressure on it. Boom. It's loose again. Because this nut isn't strong enough to hold this in the upright position, it jumps down. Just like that. So you get this really wobbly thing going on. And the same thing will happen if we test it in the pickaxe mode. So let's go ahead and tighten it down like so. So that's as tight as I can physically make it with my hand. I can't make it any tighter than that. So if I try to wibble it just a little bit, no movement. If I go ahead and actually use it, one, two, three, look how loose that's become. Look how wobbly that is. And that's only after three strikes. And I can't physically tighten it down anymore. It's moving a little bit. But it's almost as if this is just getting stuck. Because when this is tightened, and then when this presses down, it's like it's pushing three of the threads on one side down a notch, and the other ones aren't. So it's like locking it up. You can also tell, I'll hold it this way, you can see that it's on an angle. It wasn't on an angle before. Now it is, after I hit and tried to use it. So this, this nut that they use to lock this in place is nowhere near strong enough to actually withstand any usable force that's being applied to the shovel. So if you're going to use this thing to dig, any force that you need to apply through this shovel to actually dig the hole is going to pop this down and then it's going to be really loose. Now it doesn't seem to really go down any farther than that once you get it locked in this weird position where it's almost in a stripped state where you can't move it. So I suppose that you could still use it, but it is going to be really weird trying to use it when it is this wobbly like that. It's going to, it's just going to make it real uncomfortable and your strikes with your pickaxe are not going to be directly on target because you're going to assume it's going to hit here, but when I go ahead and strike down like so, it's going to be hitting way up there, even though if it was tightened down like so it would be hitting pretty much right on my target. So, there's that. The only last thing that we can test is this saw blade right here. So let's go ahead and jump cut and test that out. So, I have my piece of wood over here. And I went to go ahead and tighten this down so that I can have it in this configuration so I can actually use it like a saw. And this, this nut has actually locked up on me. I cannot physically, I can take the bottom off, but I cannot physically tighten this thing down. I'm using all the strength that I have and I cannot physically move this anymore. It is basically locked in place. It is stuck. So I would have to actually go get a different tool like vice grips or something to go ahead and grab this so that I can move it and try to see if I can get it unstuck. So for right now I'm just going to hold it like this so it doesn't wobble side to side and I'm going to see if I can cut into this log. So here we go. Can't really even, there we go, getting it started a little bit there.
I'm just going to leave it off right there. As you can see, it does cut in slightly. I have a little bit of a groove right there where I was trying to cut in. But if you're actually trying to use this in any situation where you need a saw, I'd think again, this is not going to work for you. You might be able to get it to work a little better if you actually took some time and tried filing them to make them sharp. But in its factory condition, out of the bag, I would say this isn't going to cut through anything anytime soon and would probably become duller with use than it was from the factory. And from the factory, it's not doing a very good job of sawing through anything anytime soon. So, if I can get this to stay, what is my overall thought with this thing? Well, it's a really cool concept, but I think that this product is just not made well enough, especially for $5.69. I don't think they used adequate materials to get this in a configuration with thick enough steel where it would actually be a usable piece of equipment. Uh, the, the main problem with this configuration is this locking uh, nut right here is not strong enough to actually hold this in position while you're using it. The force is too great and it presses down and it you know dislodges the nut and strips it and jumps some of the threads and now I basically I, I've only I haven't even used the thing really once. I've made like six shovelfuls of dirt and like five pickaxe strikes and I've already pretty much broken it. And that's in nice soft suburban dirt. So, you know, if you were actually using this against anything like how I was planning on keeping this in my car is an emergency snow shovel and ice pick in case my car got snowed in um, in the city or something, a plow goes by and, you know, sh uh, plows my car in and I can't get it out. I think this would have been good enough for just regular snow, but if there was any ice that I needed to break up, if there were chunks of ice that got refrozen inside that snow pile blocking my car, if I use this pickaxe, I think this would have just broken on me and I would have still been stuck there anyway. So ultimately, I would not recommend buying this item. I do not think that it is worth it. And I would look elsewhere for a different product if you're looking for a foldable survival or, you know, military shovel. This is not one that you want. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find my latest videos, you can go ahead and click right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you'd like to know where you can get the best deals on games and get them for up to 75% off, go ahead and click the link in the description, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter to keep up to date. I hope you all have a good rest of your day.